Welcome back everyone, Scott here and we're of course continuing our next update, this being the one year and eight month mark of our 42 way coatings, sealants, waxes, comparison and longevity test. If you've been following along, you know we've had some crazy weather here in East Texas, so as usual, I'll leave the last 30 days as well as the lifetime weather that this panel has been exposed to up on your screen. Also of note, this hood has now been washed 24 times in the last one year and eight months. Most of you know the drill by now, but for those of you just joining us, the wash process goes something like this. First, we'll foam the panel down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, let it dwell, rinse it off, foam it again, and wash it before rinsing everything. We'll then inspect the hydrophobic properties and of course dry with a Metro, MetroVac Master Blaster 8 horsepower dryer. So on to it here, you know that everything on this panel is getting pretty tired, so we're going to go ahead and see how things are holding up here. Glosset 10H, I believe that is a new failure this month. It's, well, no, it's just, it's hanging on there. We're going to, we're going to leave it as weak. One year, eight month, weak. So I'm skipping over a lot because pretty much everything else has failed except for some on the right side and on the bottom of the panel here. Ceramic Pro 9H, Meguiar's M688. They were both marked weak. They're still there. Seaquartz UK 3.0 also weak nano bond that's the ebay amazon coating it's almost still instantly hydrophobic as well as expel fusion that's their ceramic coating that they make i think it's intended for on top of their paint protection film drive victory 9h dallas uh, dallas texas based company and john's 360 avenger i believe he's in mississippi if i'm not mistaken but that's more of an aircraft coating and CarProtect 9H from Canada. It's getting pretty close to being failed, but we're going to leave that one at weak. Pretty crazy what this last month's weather did to these, this panel. Really, uh, everything was getting weak. It just kind of pushed a lot of these over the edge. G Technic XOV3, I think we still had that marked weak, and it's it's still there. G Technic Ultra is still nearly immediately hydrophobic. One of the better performing, along with Expel. IGL Kinzo SPS Graphene. Kinzo is still pretty much right there. And I guess the big surprise for me here is Ceramic Pro Sport. That's just a spray on sealant. And it's still nearly immediately hydrophobic. Not quite there. That's pretty impressive for a spray-on coating. SPS Graphene also hanging in there. So that's your, that's your update for this month. We're getting towards the end. If you had like a top three, what do you think? What would you choose? Let me know in the comments. It's looking to me like it's going to be Expel Fusion, maybe even Nanobond 9H, G-Technic Ultra. Those were... Uh, and Ceramic Pro Sport, that's the big surprise for me, but it looks like we're maybe down to a top top four or five. So let me know in the comments, guys. Appreciate you watching. Again, you can find all of these products in the link in the description of the video. Here are some ways to support the channel on your screen right there. I'd like to take a moment to remind you and to make a promise to you that I will continue to remain unsponsored, unbiased, and that 100% of these products are purchased out of my own pocket unless otherwise stated. I don't do paid reviews for companies because I want to know the real truth behind everything and what is the best product out there for you guys, for me, and so on. So thank you again for tuning in. Please make sure you're subscribed. Hit the bell icon and we will see you guys soon. Here's your graphic for all the failure times for everything so far. Thanks again, guys.